Shalom, I am SK and this is PJ and this is Suka. We are obviously in the vehicle and it's one of those days where it just seems like story after story, this is just crazy. And I am going to do a, a video on something we figured out about uh, TSC and scratch drain. I think it's important for y'all to see it and know it. And it was one of those shaking my head kind of situations. SMH. So the one we, I want to talk about right now, right now, we just finished looking up a town in Oklahoma called Broken Arrow because they had a radioactive material not collection, what am I, uh, not exploration. They found a bunch of radioactive ground. Assessment of a real estate property that had just been bought by someone, and on it they found seven acres of radioactive waste of a 70 acre Who has their land radiologically assessed? We've bought and sold land. We never had a radiological assessment on our property, so that set off our little antenna. <clears throat> Why? Why would you ask for that? Unless you already know somehow that this land has been used as a hazardous material dump. And then we find out in reading the article that the EPA was notified of this in 2012. So 10 years have gone by since the EPA was notified and then they actually came to the site and did the an land's in the middle of nowhere, right? Is the land in the middle of nowhere? No. It's in the middle. It's the east side, they said. What's of, across the street? <laughs> of a town called Broken Arrow. And a, across the street is a neighborhood. With an HOA. With an HOA called, the, H, the uh, neighborhood is called Timberbrook. Timberbrook. Yes, drive the rover over. We'll, 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 we'll do tapas. You normally don't have an HOA and name a neighborhood unless it's kind of, you know... Hoity-toity. Well off people. And it's within a mile of the elementary school. And right next to the TSC of this town. The Tractor Supply Company. So, this radioactive material has been sitting there, has been known about for these 10 years. But it's only a little bit, right? While all the citizens and the elementary school students and the neighborhood people have been driving past it, possibly walking over top of it, uh, walking their dogs around it. It's really appalling. It's crazy. It's a lot of material. And right? The things they're not saying is what's really interesting. How did it get there in the first place? What kind of, what, what did it say was? Strontium? Thoranium? It's thoranium, thorium, 232. So I want to see, I mean, I can do my own research and I will after I'm done driving. What is that radioactive material used, used in? For, right? Why didn't they say that in the article? It's used for this typically. Right. Who put it there? How did it get there? How much is it? What are they doing about it? How could they even allow that? Did the city of Broken Arrow, the people who have been... Uh, the they probably didn't allow it. Right? Did they know that that was going to be dumped there 10 years ago? But they said it was like a bazillion cubic feet of it or something. They said it was they a lot. They said thousands of tons. Seven acres out of 70. It And it's... Uh, just below the surface. But don't worry, they have a plan. Nothing right. to worry about. The EPA said they would put six inches of clay on it initially. Well, if you follow my husband's channel at all, or have read the books he's told you to read, the recommended amount of cover to stop a nuclear fallout from a nuclear bomb is how much? Like about three feet at least of really heavy stuff. Of really heavy soil. Or how much concrete? Like about three feet. Like three feet thick of concrete. And they're saying, oh, six inches of clay soil will handle it. We're going to make it a foot eventually. But the clay will keep wind 
from blowing this stuff around or from rainwater uh, washing it out. Because clay doesn't move with rainwater, it just stays there. There won't be rivulets form that dig right down into it. Right, that will just carry away the clay like it does on our property where it gets washed all the way into down huge the property. Into six foot deep gullies. Right, it's so ridiculous. It's crazy to think about how unimportant and how unresponsive the EPA it has been on this issue. It's crazy to think that they're going to tell the locals, oh, you'll be safe, it'll be fine. With this little cap we put on these seven acres, I mean, that's bigger than most lots in a, in a city. It's even. just how did it get there? What is it? You know, what's it used for? Th these are pretty easy things to determine. Why aren't they reporting that? Who's responsible? And they say, oh, there's nothing to worry about. Well, why don't you tell me what the radiation levels are in that area? You already said they're like, what, 50 times bigger than they thought they were going to be, and that there's nothing to worry about? Not only that. I tell you what, you go ahead and raise your kids on top of that thing. Right? Broken arrow is the phrase the military uses for a nuclear situation gone wrong or like a weapon when they, is basically lost when the weapon is lost or accidentally discharged <laughs> or uh, um, accidentally the plane that's carrying it is, is knocked out of the sky and the bomb falls into the ocean that's called a broken arrow and this city's name is broken arrow Oklahoma <laughs> it's just coincidence is that some sort of weird joke where the person who bought that land in the first place knew they were going to be putting nuclear leftovers into the middle of a city. I mean, it's just mind-boggling, the incompetence here and the seriousness of it. It's a mile away from a school? How many parents want their kid going by a radioactive property when they go to school? But what about the people who live across the street? Right? Timberbrook. Oh, if I was Timberbrook... And Their I'd housing values way. have just gone to zero. zero. Who's going to buy a house across from this nuclear... And how, don't worry, there's a foot of clay on it. You're all right. right. How can they trust the, the rainwater that's coming down in the vicinity of it? If it ran down the, the gully and the, and the street into the... What, what is it? The drainage pipes and everything. It could be even that much closer to where they live. It's ridiculous. So, that is... That is one of the crazy things that we've read about and talked about today thus far. And I'd love to know what y'all think if you want to put your uh, thoughts in the comments. All right, we will see you out there. Bless you. Shalom.